here with his take on the battle for South Carolina, Rick Tyler, he's Cruz Campaign Communications Director. So Trump calls it phony, says it's a total joke, and you say what? He said, I'm sorry, he says it's, it's what? He calls the poll phony, and he says it's a total joke, and you call it what? Well, look, it's a poll to capture in time. We're, we're pleased to see it. We hope it represents a change. But, you know, Donald Trump calls anything he doesn't like phony. Uh, so, look, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. So uh, we're, we're pleased with the poll. What can I say? Well, it did, it did show a momentum for Cruz at the very least. And other, other polls show that momentum. They don't show Cruz winning. But did the debate hurt Trump? Was that a factor here? I think it did. Uh, he didn't perform very well in the debate. He looked very uh, angry and hostile to me. In fact, he's been angry and hostile with almost everybody. And when you're ahead, you should, you know, sort of relax and take on a leadership role and act presidential. Instead, he acts uh, petty and petulant most of the time, uh, runs around, calls people names and calls people liars. And, uh, you know, he talks about you know, scandals and all this other nonsense. And so that, that's not what people are interested in. But so I do think it's hurt him. Well, the other thing that happened in the debate on Saturday, of course, was Justice Scalia's death, uh, two things happening on the same day. Did that add to uh, to Cruz's lead? I think what it did is it focused the American people to to say, you know, this is really serious. We have a, a court vacancy, and and a lot of presidential campaigns talk about court vacancies, and they don't always translate into people being motivated to, to go and vote. But I think when Scalia's unexpected death, and he is was a constitutional conservative lion of the court, uh, that the idea that Barack Obama would have an opportunity to replace that justice and now we know that he most likely won't but it got people to focus so i think they saw the whole debate in a new filter that we need someone who's serious someone who can pick someone for the court who could be vet who would vet the uh, candidate to make sure they're a mm -hmm. constitutional conservative make sure they're going to protect the constitution and donald trump has shown no temperament um, or capability or understanding of how important that is. So I think it did give Ted Cruz an advantage. Now, Rick, one advantage that, that Trump does have over Cruz is he had such a big lead uh, all over the place, except for this Wall Street Journal uh, poll, that he could more play to a general audience. That, I think, is what a lot of the attacks on Bush were about on Saturday night. He was, he's playing not so much to the primary audience, but to the general electorate, maybe trying to get some Democratic voters over to his side. When does Cruz start to do that, if ever? Well, you know, that's a very old model. Uh, Barack Obama disproved that model because what he did is he motivated his base and had a base election and won two uh, campaigns overwhelmingly on both, while our party tries to, you know, go to the middle. But the problem is the middle doesn't exist anymore. There's really about 9% in the middle. And if you look at the party in terms of ideological, ideologically, you know, the 538 judged, uh, weighted the Republican Party as a 71. Ted Cruz is a 72. So Ted Cruz is in the middle of the party, and, and what we need is someone who can motivate the base to, to go out and vote. Uh, help every candidate on the Republican Party down ticket. Mm -hmm. If we pick someone to the, to the left, like Donald Trump or like Marco Rubio, uh, the base will not be motivated to get out. We saw that with John McCain. We saw that with Mitt Romney. We saw that um, with Bob Dole. So it goes over and over again, and yet our party doesn't seem to learn a lesson. If you motivate our people who are with us and we're in the center of them, uh, we can win elections big. Fascinating stuff. Rick Tyler, thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it, Rick. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.